Hi everyone, this is John McKeever here from Data Migrators. I'm going to take you through a set of uh, videos which will illustrate, demonstrate an installation of Metal CI on a vanilla data stage 11.7 uh, environment with a Unix based engine. I'll break what I do uh, up into a set of videos and uh, annotate them separately so you can jump straight to the one that you're interested in. But uh, the running order is really going to run through this, which is an introduction and prerequisites. Then I'm going to install the Metal CI workbench, uh, deploy Git repositories, uh, link workbench to those Git repositories, um, test that we can do a commit and also run compliance. We're going to define a work item management system, install the unit test harness, and um, then ultimately onboard an entire data stage project into Git and get you to the point at the end of this set of videos that really is the starting point of the demo video, which I'm hoping you've already seen. That's really one of the prerequisites for this set of videos. If you haven't seen a demonstration of Metal CI, I would urge you to do so, so that you understand what Metal CI is, what role it plays, how you access its various functions and what those functions are. This is the topology that we're going to be using today. I'm running, uh, as I said, a data stage 11.7 instance. Everything happens to be running on AWS EC2 instances. Um, I've got a single engine tier host, um, a repository tier host, and a services tier host. I've got uh, this box here, which is a client box, which um, could either play the role of a developer workstation or this other box here. I will do a separate set of videos where I turn this Windows um, host into a Metal CI agent host, which is the automated kind of robot box, which is used by your build platform, Jenkins, Azure, GitHub, GitLab, Bamboo, to automate CI CD processes on your data stage engine. So ultimately this environment that I'm using here will be an environment, this Windows environment will be a host that no human should ever really log into. It's just part of the automation um, environment. But today we're going to use it as our interface to install and configure Metal CI. The other bits of software we're going to be communicating with are, um, I'm using the Atlassian stack as I do in uh, many of my demos just for convenience. So I'm going to use Bitbucket as my Git host. I'm going to use um, Jira as my work item management host. And then down the line, when I do a CI CD set of videos, I'll probably do a distinct video for each of our principal CI CD platforms that we support. Currently Bamboo, Jenkins, Azure DevOps, GitHub, and GitLab. So what else do we need to know about this environment? Uh, I've described the scope of what we're going to do. I've discussed the environment. And what the, the first thing you want to do is to acquire your Metal CI assets. So uh, that depends on who you are. If you're a Data Migrators direct customer, you're licensing Metal CI directly from Data Migrators, my organization, you will be given access to a software portal where you can download all of your assets. If you're an IBMer, you'll go through uh, one particular route. If you're an IBM customer, you'll go through probably Passport Advantage. Something I should mention about the current release of Metal CI is that uh, there are uh, two releases of Metal CI, I believe, on Passport Advantage. It's only the first release, Metal CI 1.0, that contains a Metal CI license file. And that is essential to get everything working on Metal CI. So whatever you download, you need to download the Metal CI 1.0 uh, package from Passport Advantage or, or, or uh, wherever you get your software from. Then the actual latest version of Metal CI, where you get that from, will probably be on Fix Central. Uh, at the time of recording this, which you can see is the 1st of September, 2022, uh, the latest software is in the S2PX uh, package, which is the server to parallel conversion utility on Fix Central. I should also mention that I won't be covering the server to parallel conversion utility as part of this sequence of videos uh, that will be covered in some other videos uh, as well. So 
MetalCI 1.0 contains your license file, which you will need. Download that and then get the latest version of the software from Fix Central. What I'll do now is I'll just quickly introduce you to the assets that I've downloaded onto this environment. So you can, uh, uh, we'll just walk through them quickly. They are all documented, but it's useful, uh, I think, in the video just to go through them. Um, in probably alphabetical order, I think, um, DM compliance rules. The compliance rules, as you'll remember from the demo, are shipped to you as a Git repository. The idea is that you take those compliance rules and filter them, adapt them, curate them, uh, throw some out, create your own. Okay, we, we ship them as source code, and this zip file here actually unzips into a directory, which isn't just a flat directory of files, it's actually a local Git repository. So what we'll do uh, later on in the demo is we will create a remote Git repository, then we will unzip this zip file into a local directory. We will connect this local Git repository to the remote and then push all of those files up into that remote Git repository. The next file is DM Metal CI command shell. That's a zip file. So that is the, the Metal CI command line for Windows, which is what we need for our Metal CI agent host. So the, the Jenkins host, for example, that will exist on this box will use that Metal CI command line again on this Windows box in order to do the things it needs to do to deliver a Metal CI CI CD pipeline. You'll remember from the demo that the Metal CI agent host, the thing that uh, provides these facilities to your CI CD pipeline on data stage 11.7 and before, needs to be on a Windows environment because those Metal CI commands make use under the covers of some Windows only functionality. So for example, you'll be aware that you can only compile a data stage job on a Windows environment because some of that compilation logic is actually baked into the Windows designer tool. We do also provide a Metal CI command line for Unix. If you have some need for that, because it's written in Java, there's no read why we shouldn't. Uh, and in fact, some of those Metal CI commands uh, could even work on Mac OS, for example. Um, but uh, day to day, you'll only need the Metal CI command shell on Windows, which is that file there. I've got the DM Metal CI workbench. You'll see the naming standard here, 1.0-1451. So that means I've, that this is release 1451 of the Metal CI workbench. It's an RPM file, which means this is for a Unix-based engine. Okay, the workbench will always be installed on a data stage engine. And this is the, uh, the, the Unix version of workbench. I've also got workbench setup.exe for users who are running a data stage engine on Windows. Um, my environment doesn't use a, a Windows engine, so we won't be using that file today. I have also downloaded, the, despite promising not to demonstrate server to parallel, I have also downloaded the two server to parallel plugins. Um, so when we install the command line, I might just quickly demonstrate how command line plugins work. So there's a Metal CI command shell, um, and then it has a plugins directory into which you can drop jar files supplied by data migrators. They must be Metal CI command shell jar files. And um, the Metal CI CLI will find, the, scan the jar files in that directory and use uh, those jar files to provide its commands. So when I do the CLI, CLI installation, I'll probably just demonstrate that by installing the S to PX commands and show you how that works. Um, Metal CI has two unit test harnesses, one for server jobs and one for parallel jobs. This is the server unit test harness. It's a zip file, which is uh, applicable to data stage engines running on Windows and Unix. So at some point in the demo, we'll install the server unit test harness, although we don't demonstrate that in the, the demo, we will go through the installation process. And then I've got the DM unit test harness RPM, which is the parallel unit test harness for Unix and DM unit test harness setup.exe, which is the parallel unit test harness for Windows based engines. I've got Metal CI Jenkins template. So when we store our data stage assets in a Git repository, you need a template for that repository. So much like we're providing a uh, compliance rules repository as a, as a directory, a zipped directory, we also provide 
a Metal CI data stage assets repository um, as a zipped directory. And this has got the word Jenkins in because this particular flavor of the repository uh, comes ship, uh, ships with um, an example uh, Jenkins um, CI CD pipeline. And uh, we also provide templates. You'll, you'll see in your download media, there will be templates for other CI CD tools. The current release at the time of recording this, I can't actually off the top of my head remember what's in and what isn't because we've been furiously working on the next release, which is uh, going to be released during September 2022, which will contain example pipelines for all of those tools I mentioned earlier. We already support Bamboo uh, and we'll be shipping Azure DevOps, Jenkins, GitLab and GitHub pipelines, which all do effectively the same thing. And for each one of those tools, we'll be shipping two pipelines, one that does a normal DevOps CI CD from uh, you know, an 11.7 development environment into an 11.7 QA and ultimately production environment, and also a uh, upgrade pipeline that would enable you to upgrade from, say, 11.5, perform CI CD, and ultimately deliver into, say, an 11.7 target. Integration with the latest version of Cloud Pack is something we're also working on uh, furiously, and we'll make more announcements about that later in the year. But we are currently not uh, um, able to integrate Metal CI with Cloud Pack 4.5. There's still some more work to be done on that, but it's our number one priority. Finally, you may remember uh, from uh, the demo, and also if you've read the documentation, which I'll introduce you to shortly. Um, that we uh, one of the prerequisites for Metal CI uh, is the Open JDK uh, version eight. Okay, so the JVM that ships with uh, Data Stage is an IBM specific JVM, and it deviates from uh, security uh, encryption protocols in some important ways, which means that that JVM can't be used to connect to third party systems um, like Git systems and and work item management systems because of the, the way it treats security. So we have to s install alongside that a different JVM, uh, an open JDK JVM. It doesn't upset your data stage installation. Data stage will continue to work as normal, but uh, the Metal CI components will use this new open JDK uh, JVM. We need to install that in two locations. We need to install one on your engine in order to support Metal CI Workbench, because that's where it runs. And we also need to install one on your Windows environment, uh, the Metal CI agent host, this environment I'm looking at now, in order to support the Metal CI CLI. You'll see here I've got an MSI, which uh, you may uh, recognize as a Windows installer. So this is the file I will use to install the JVM on this Windows environment to support the CLI. On the Unix-based data stage engine that I've got, I will actually use the YUM package manager on that environment to install directly from an internet accessible repository. If you need to uh, install it differently with a package that you upload, uh, you can do that, and I'll uh, show you where that comes from. Okay, so a little bit more about my environment. I have a data stage client tier installed on this Windows host. I've got a data stage project um, up and running. I, I can connect from my client to my engine without getting prompts about uh, certificates and any of that. Everything's working as it should be. I've got WinSCP, so I've got direct access to the file system on my engine host here. And you can see I've got some downloads um, under my home account. I'm EC2 user. As I mentioned earlier, this is um, an AWS hosted environment. So I've got some downloads already on my engine. I've got my workbench RPM, my server unit test zip, and the parallel unit test RPM. So I'll be using those uh, later on. I've got PuTTY access, so SSH access to my environment there. And I am a EC2 user on my demo X engine uh, um, environment. So I mentioned earlier about installing the open JDK. So that comes from a website called Adoptium. The link to this is in 
the documentation, and I haven't mentioned the Metal CI documentation. You may already know the URL for it, but it's docs.metalci.com. That will take you into our Confluence space. Anything and everything you need to know is in here, including um, links about, um, if I can type, links about downloading the uh, Open JDK. So you can go to the Adoptium site and download your uh, Java 8 version for Windows and if you want to for Unix. But as I mentioned earlier, I'm going to actually on my engine install the required OpenJDK distribution using a package manager, the YUM package manager. So if I go to our documentation, we've actually got an example of the YUM command that you will need to use. And I'll go and run the yum command on my engine. And that just takes a minute or so to run. And we should have our open JDK installed now. So if I type which Java, I can now see I've got a Java in the user bin directory. And if I do user bin Java version, type correctly, I can see that I've got open JDK runtime environment installed 1.8, which is the correct version. So that's the largely the prerequisite for our engine met. Um, we will also, as I've mentioned, install OpenJDK on the Windows environment, but I'll do that when I come to setting up the um, Windows environment as an agent for our build system. So for now, that's it. We should be ready to have a go at installing the Metal CI Workbench, which I'll do in the next video.